don't know, what other high CC junglers are there? Because they, he can't pick Zoe anymore here with Fei Bai, for Fei Bai because he is going to be going on near Kali. Uh, so just thinking of a possible high CC jungler, maybe uh, an Ash as well for the Enchanted Crystal, Crystal Arrows if they were watching the last uh, match with Mirmo on the Ash. Possibly. Uh, I think Vi is not going to be banned away here by GDG unless they're thinking that maybe J Team is going to be picking it up. Add in another lockdown CC here to take down Fei Bai. Maybe even Lemon as well since we saw it earlier in the previous series between Nova Esports and now Esports. Kha'Zix instead is going to get taken away. So Vi's up. Let's see if J Team mm. will take it out. Yumi gets hovered. Don't think this is going to be locked in surely. Maybe the Vi is going to be not, a worthy right? option. Instead, or maybe pick up a Baron laner for 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 SD. Maybe pick up the Fiora, but the Vi instead gets prioritized, denying yep. it from JDG as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Vi getting picked up here for J team would be very beneficial because there are some champions too that needed to be locked down here as well on JDG's side. I mean, you do have. Uh, you do have the Kaisa, you have the Akali, two champions that are very, very slippery, and if left to their own devices, could be, you know, very detrimental to your team. So you really have to just, uh, you have to lock them down and Vi is one of those ways to do that. Now, the Fiora to round it all out here, that probably means that Xiao Ji is going to be picking up the Camille in the jungle. <laughs> Which is uh, a little bit weird to say, but uh, nothing unexpected, to be honest. Actually, thought that's gonna be the Garen, but Renekton uh, is gonna help them out so much in the early game later on. I wonder what JDG is gonna be putting up in the top lane. We, we sometimes see the Camille in the jungle, same as the Fiora. Both yep. really good flex picks here for JDG. It is up to them how they want to play this out, especially with the pressure that SZ and CF17 can actually provide. Possibly, the Fiora is better since you have the repost to deny opportunities. Camille, even if you have like uh, adaptive defenses, can still be layered on with the CCs. And Renekton does have so much CC, especially when you have your rage up. CF17 as well can just follow through. And they will be having that for now. Yeah, a lot of uh, CC opportunities here for uh, J Team. Now, the layering is going to be something that uh, needs to be addressed by uh, by JDG if they want to uh, get out of this alive because they honestly do not have all too much CC. They have a lot of damage, but CC kind of lacking. They're going to need to fight front to back basically, and use their huge damage output to just burst down J-Team. Mm, let's see who's going to be getting this win, whether it be JDG or J-Team. Let us know in the comment section, of course, we are reading your comments and loving every support that you're giving towards these teams. It's just game number one of this best of three series. Oh! So 17 Ooh. just wanted to get Faye by there, but... <laughs> well, all of them are fast. They're all pretty decently fast. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go into the first game of the last match of the day, ladies and gents. Soldier and Fei Bai in the middle trading blows already. I like how Fei Bai is just unafraid here. Zero percent fear against this uh, against this man, against uh, the Vladimir, which you know honestly should be striking some fear into his heart as a as an Akali. Mm-hmm. I mean, upside, it should be a bit of a win there for the next mid side. Faye by actually struggling a little bit here from Soldier. Again, you really need to be very careful. DY as well! Oh. First blood! That was quick. That was very quick. JDG uh, just aggressively pushing in Barry, uh, utilizing his early game damage on that guy's set to just go for a huge, huge first blood there. Let's take a look at how that happened. It's a, a bit of a mistake there by DY. He thought he won't get bursted out, but Barry said otherwise. Void Seeker into the flash, into the auto attack as well, secured the burst to the Gragas. And first blood went through there perfectly. 
established by JDG, giving some gold towards their drag laner. SD as well starting to have a bit of a problem here in the top lane, especially with the prowess there of uh, of the Fiora. You always need to watch out. Ooh, yep. one hit away. Ooh, one tick. Lemon. No mana, no H. Oh man, no rage, no HP, nothing. And you cannot defend this tower for now. Man, I love that JDG is playing like this. They are playing so aggressively. Uh, they just are not taking any prisoners here whatsoever. And if they can, if they can get away with this, then I am going to be very, very impressed. But now a gag coming in from J Team. They've gotten the CC onto Barry, and he's not going to be getting out of there anytime soon. Good gank coming in from CF17. This time, J Team managed to. Pick up the pace, get a get a kill here in the bottom lane as well. Shut down Barry for a little while. J Team needs to be a lot more careful from you know the burst coming in here from J JDG. SD might need some help as well in the top lane, so we might see CF17 actually get there. That is a distinct possibility. He wants to be as proactive as possible on this buy, especially now that uh, you know he's got possibility of going for a ball breaker soon as lemon has been stunned up now they know that cf17 is here just a little bit of pressure up there in the top lane but there's a hexec ultimatum onto dy now he's gonna get caught out and that's gonna be three members piling onto him but he's a tanky tanky dragus boy he drank his beer this morning and he's going to be able to tank it all out soldier though he's got the hebel plague available he goes into blood pool x1 is there as well Faby trying to get the eye execution onto them but he does go down for the kill onto the support was that worth it the mid laner for the support you tell me because that is a one for one trade at the end of it all yep a kill is a kill it is some gold go getting towards your carries and still we do see equal amounts of gold here on JDG and JT's side. But ST still feeling the pressure here in the top lane. We look into this replay and how it actually started. Hextic ultimatum, soldier as well, dealing a couple of damage, but follow up by once actually started to be a problem here from J team, especially with Barry included. But after that, the repositioning, J team thought they can actually take them down faster than they should have been, but the perfect execution actually of Faye by cost their demise at least they got a kill but i got too far forward in tower's range and that equated to that 1v1 or one for one yeah i would say that it's a little bit unfortunate that uh it shook out that way because honestly the perfect execution was a little bit misaimed uh there there was a world where you know they were able to get the dragus kill a lot earlier on but, uh, you know, I just gotta give props to the footsies, the dodging coming in from that, uh, from the groggy boy, from DY himself. So, the J team is still doing a good job of keeping things even. They are even ahead in just a tiny bit here. Mm hmm. JDG still getting on there with their aggression, trying to be flashy, especially in giving an opportunity here for the Akali to make things work from him let's see if it's gonna be good though flash oh. in that's pretty good <laughs> i'd say uh the flash coming in but now they're gonna be fighting over the dragon as he is already in the midst of it all he has to dominate just to try to get out but he gets followed by lemon and there's the grand challenge has been top and the vi coming in with the season this is and seal onto the mountain drake now j team they're gonna try to fight back they're gonna get one at the very least into the blood pool lemon now no mana no way out no way to get uh alive still but fade by dashes back in for the perfect execution oh, soldier. soldier takes him right out with a shot now it's still dy the last man standing because barry was able to get that trade jdg come out on top and kills but the steal of the drake goes to j team yep four for three but plus the dragon j team i think will say that's worth it but look into this strip and how it actually started SC was actually a little bit far too forward. They got caught out early into the fight. It wasn't able to deal the necessary damage. With props to CF17 being able to steal out that dragon and also Soldier dealing so much damage into the team fight alongside with X1 actually could have won them the fight. But the re-engage coming in from Fey by actually allowed them 
to get the comeback. Barry as well, getting a shutdown there to the Vladimir, equating to them getting more kills in that fight. So JDG, despite them not getting the dragon, still will able to get this RH at the very least. Maybe open up a tower into the mid lane or a maybe even top lane. That is a distinct, distinct possibility, but J team, they are ready to engage. They're not going to shy away from this because CF17 has gone right into the back line onto Barry. One more attack would have died, but the killer instinct will save him with the shield. And now the rest of JDG. Oh, they're trying to hot Barry down, but Barry just fancy feats away. Now SC is in the midst of it all with his Dominus. He's not tanky enough to survive this onslaught, so he has to get away. Lemon as well is not tanky enough. Uh, to get through all of that damage now Shao G as well was trapped in that rip herald pit and J team have found themselves on the winner side now they have equalized the number of kills and take it the rip herald and now they're gonna run it all the way down mid and open it up as well JDG did not expect that coming in from J team and again this is a team that is very manipulative in team fights in season one we saw them how good they are in team fights and you cannot discount them any time they JDG basically has disrespected them and thought that they would be able to get the RH, get the team fight as well. But look into this replay and how it actually started. RH yeah. is pretty much early, uh, healthy, and they should have have engaged on a tank. DY was able to hold his own, and Barry got caught early and had to disengage for a while. But man, without the damage, without the Kaisa. JDG just couldn't win a fight. SZ as well being able to escape with 1 HP or close to 1 HP. And also that bottom time coming from deal but it was just perfect to allow CF70 to actually survive. Resulting to an almost clean fight. He got killed off the very end thanks to Shelly as well just helping out. And JDG at least just get one kill. Ooh. But Soldier! Soldier's deep behind enemy lines. The just uh, hero's entrance. And the Justice Fuzz tried to... Uh, Hunt him down, but Shao G will get him with the Hextech ultimatum, and Faye Bai is not even assassinated there. Yeah, Faye Bai survives despite the burst coming in there from Soldier and JDG. Yes, that outplay at the very least, cutting down the gold lead of J Team to just over 400. Nine minutes into the game, we do see a good scaling on both sides. Let's see who is actually going to be coming on top of this. Is the Zeddy of X1 can be problematic, but JDG does have so much chase down ability, especially when that Hextech ultimatum lands onto X1, it's gonna be in big trouble. Yep, trouble is uh trouble is the uh what's the word? It, it's the name of the game when you are inside the Hextech Ultimatum, and especially when your blood pool's already down. Now Faye Bai is gonna try to go for something more onto Soldier, but remember this time. He's fresh as the blood that he is feeling, but at the top lane, unfortunately, SZ is not going to be nearly as fresh. He has to get out of there. He gets denied the heal and gets chased down by Lemon and Xiao G for an easy kill on the Crocodile Dundee. Mm hmm J team uh, losing, well, a little bit there. Unfortunate for the Renekton, but no objectives can be taken just yet. At least for the little while. And J Team, despite losing that Renekton, is still gonna be starting this dragon. I think this is gonna be very risky. Especially after JDG clears up mid and bottom lane as well. They will be opening it up uh, here. Oh, Steel? But they are just doing no, the dragon JD's dance right now. The traditional dragon dance. And SZ is going to make his way into the fight into the river Faye Bai is there maybe trying to get an assassination off but jdg are very hesitant to actually get into this pit because they remember what happened at the rift Carol and they don't want a repeat of that but they are getting to go on because Faye Bai has been committed onto by SZY and now the Hexic ultimatum will be denied by the gold golden and lemon is the first victim of circumstance here the next one is going to be SZ but who's gonna get the drake I want to see but all the team kills are gonna JDG. be going to J team as JDG do get the Drake, but their lives are forfeit to J team. Mm hmm, that's so many casualties on their side. Four members fell down, it's only paid by that remained alive. Yeah, you do get the dragon, but so many gold that's been transferred here into JT's bank. And now they're also going to be getting this bot side tower tier one. Let's look into this replay because Paybay actually got. Zoned out a little bit there, the Shuriken did not connect after he re-entered the Shroud as well, so the damage 
burst wasn't really there as much as he intended it to be. But props to JDG still being able to secure the dragon. And just last point millisecond there before they actually were able to take him down. Before they were wiped out here by X1. Yeah, that, uh, now J Team's gonna go into it again. Soldier is there along with DY to try to get some kills. They've isolated Fade by with the explosive cast, and he's not gonna be able to get away with the perfect execution. And now he's gone, and now the season desists on two once. He's a little bit far. Xiao Ji is there to keep him safe, but the turret will belong to J Team. And now J Team are gonna go on to the Baron. Now they can just start this up. Nobody can stop them now. Barry will maybe try. Xiao Ji is also here. But it's got to be very risky. Incredibly risky as there's already a sun and the Hexic ultimatum on the SZ. But SZ is going to be flashing into the Baron pit just to try to live. And the spike will be going the way of J team. But can they actually fight this? There's a hero's entrance. They're fighting back and forth and back and forth. And the teleport is going to be coming through for JDG. Fade buys in the mix. There's a blood pool. Chance for as, oh god, DY is so incredibly low. And he finally goes down. SZ is going to be... Uh, teleporting in as well oh! trying to protect soldier and x1 and he's in dominance but fade by is doing so much damage and soldier is just trying to burn him down with a blood pool and he is successful what a series of events j team does come out on top in a three for two exchange that outplay especially by soldier sc as well teleported back after almost getting taken down that was everything that j team needed and now they have the baron now they have so much gold on their hand as well it's 2000 but it's actually on a scaling composition most of the kills actually landed on x1 and soldiers especially with that outplay so that replay one more time sz take a look at x and how miraculously he was able to escape even if the hectic ultimatum was invested on their flash into the slice and dice went back to base and teleported later on CS17 got a little bit zoned out there and tried to go back alongside with X1, but X1 couldn't survive, especially because of the Kaiser, the Cassian Marine, which is too much. As well, the Gragas fell down. That's almost a triple kill, actually, by Barry, but he got zapped out there by, by X1. And also SZ, after going back to the base, influencing the, the fight later on, and Soldier with the Blood Pool. Now J Team is open up the base. Soldier with the burst. Barry trying to reach the base. <gasps> we'll survive. Just barely, just barely survive. Man, the Vlad is so scary right now. The main damage dealer here for JDG is pretty much feeling it. Faye buys a secondary, of course, as a Kali with the assassination potential. But right now, J Team, there is nobody that you can really assassinate on this team. Uh, other than X1, and he is staying really far away, really safe. And man, J Team just crossing the T's, dotting their I's, taking away two of those inhib turrets. They just need to push down bots, and that's where they need to be because the dragon is going to be spawning soon anyway. Mm -hmm, and J Team can have just full control of this. There's constantly a wave going to be pushing down mid and top lane. Faye is going to be there to at least answer back to top, but has to be there with his teammates in order to at least stand a really good chance here in this next team fight. Dragon, very key towards the win here of J Team, at least getting another scaling objective in their hand. But again, with the Mountain Dragon secured, this is going to be helping them at least in increase their durability for the team fights as well. Yep, increasing durability is the goal. Or that uh, Mountain Soul gives them some uh, much needed health. The form of shield, but still, the Ice Drake would also be a pretty decent pickup here as it's a completely uncontested by JDG. They know that there is no way. Okay, Fae Bai is just going to complete this back unless, unless he wants to go for an assassination oh. onto X1. He knows that he'll pay for it with his life though, so he just chooses to uh, maybe go back here. He is two levels behind X1, so the damage is going to be, well, not negligible, but okay, now they know that he's there. Mm -hmm. So Spots him out. Sneaky, sneaky, but uh, they have a war there, so they have a good read, good watch on to them. So you have 17 just getting uh, a help there into the top side. And just denying any push coming in from Xiao Ji. Good push though, at least shoving up the wave, giving them at least a leeway possibly onto the Baron. And since the bottom side, uh, n like uh, inhibitor tower is still up. They will be able to participate fully onto this Baron. They only need to clear out top, they only need to clear out mid. 
Yep, and that's, uh, that is what they're trying to do here, but JDG, uh, they do also need to compete with JT, who just are, you know, clearing as fast as they are and really setting up a death rush here, setting up uh, towards this Baron. And it's so difficult for JDG to even move around the map at this point because they know that there is an objective that they need to be able to contest. They need to be able to bring everybody over there at a moment's notice. And that's because it is starting already. It's getting melted down already down to half health. And there is the engage here perhaps onto J Team. Yes, one system is with a justice punch. And now everything is going haywire because SZ is not tanky enough. But there is a catch on X1 who goes down immediately. And now Ooh, Sanders gone as well. Perfect catch. Those are the two main damage dealers for J Team gone already. Can CF17 actually get a steal here? He's going to try. It's going to be a very dangerous attempt here as the Baron is going down pretty slowly. They know where he is now, so there's no way to contest this. J Team have fumbled the Baron and JDG have a way out of here. A ray of light, a ray of hope in this game. I think it's a big mistake that they turn into that fight. 4,000, they could have burst the Baron and then commit to the fight with better buffs to increase their damage as well. They took so much damage from the Baron as well and that gave an opportunity for JDG. Great burst coming in from Feibai and was able to take down Soldier as well quickly as they can. Perfect timing. Elder Dragon is now going to be available 8 seconds. Finally, Teleport coming through here for the, for the Vladimir. X1 as well is going to be here. Let's see if they can actually contest. Xiaoji stuck inside the pit, so he's going to commit to getting out of it. He's going to go Hexec Ultimate amount to CF-17, trying to take the jungler out of the equation. And they are successful. Fei Bai now, though, incredibly low, has to go golden to survive this. But DY is trying to make him not survive. But DY has to go golden himself. Look at the health bars coming down on both sides. JDG are able to get away scot-free so far. Oh, Lemon Ooh, just lemon. barely survives. 1 HP, a sliver of health. Barry is not going to survive, though. And now J-Team have wrestled control back into their favor yep they can actually start this but won't have this might to actually take it away from jdg so they will just leave it be for the meantime and jdg has bought them enough time to go maybe on a reset around number two in this elder yep reset and reconsider the way to actually get into this fight because that was not the cleanest of entrances for JDG. Once is the way because he is the only one with CC, but they have to be able to, you know, focus on their targets a lot, uh, a lot cleaner there. So that's going to be the way where they the need cast? to go. But the big catch uh -oh. on to the lemon, he is not going to survive this. The Fiora is gone, and once his uh, heroes enters into the wrong dog pile. And they're going to chase him down. They're going to chase him out. He's not going to die, though, unless... Yeah, DY comes in with a finishing blow. And the desperation is palpable no here steal. for JDG. Zero steals. But the lives are going to be deleted. Barry's gone next. And now it's just Fei Bai versus the world. And he's going to try to go for an assassination. Blood pool will deny him, but not quite the perfect execution. Will finish at least one kill off. But that is the entire team of JDG gone. And JT Bar barreling down into the base and they will take this game as well deny any opportunity for jdg despite their early aggression j team will prevail game number one and one game away from again repeating history yes it is